Hey guys, Trog Jeremy here from DailyPhoneBuzz.com, and on today's edition of Phone Riot, we'll be discussing the Samsung Galaxy S2, so make sure to stay tuned. The Samsung Galaxy S2 is, of course, the successor to the widely popular Samsung Galaxy S. Samsung Galaxy S's specs are as follows. 1 GHz Hummingbird Dual Core Processor, Android 2.3 with TouchWiz 4.0, a gigabyte of RAM, a 4.2 inch Super AMOLED Plus display, an 8 megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording, and a front facing camera which is most likely 1.3 megapixels. First of all, let's talk about the 1 GHz Dual Core Hummingbird Processor. For starters, this thing is fast. Just imagine myself, I'm on a treadmill. I go roughly around speed nine. The hummingbird processor on the treadmill will go well at speed zero because it doesn't have any physical legs to run, but you, you get the, no you don't, you don't get. The device also features a 4.2 inch Super AMOLED Plus display, which just the Super AMOLED series just keeps getting better and better. The difference between Super AMOLED Plus and standard Super AMOLED is that Super AMOLED Plus has 50% deeper pixel density, which is definitely something the Retina display has over the current outgoing Super AMOLED display. The screen is just great. It's great for gaming, it's great for looking at pictures from your family vacation, just it's a fantastic screen. Now it's very exciting that the device will be running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, but make sure your gun is loaded as it will be running TouchWiz 4.0. Nice job on the listing skills. As those aren't aware, TouchWiz is basically Samsung's custom user interface they put on top of the operating system, much like what HTC has with HTC Sense. But there's just a lot of problems that go on with TouchWiz, and not that many people are a fan of it. But TouchWiz 4.0 is pretty actually decent, and this is coming from a TouchWiz hater myself. Just how the fonts look on the UI, and just the overall feel of TouchWiz 4.0 just feels so much better. TouchWiz 4.0 comes with four new hubs, those that consist of gaming, social, music, and everyone's favorite reading. Last but not least, let's talk about cameras. The device features an 8 megapixel camera with not 720p but 1080p HD video recording. And yes, the bigger the better. Now, the primary reason previous generation devices weren't able to do 1080 was because, well, a phone just wasn't powerful enough. But with dual core processors, that's definitely more than enough power needed. And lastly, it features a front facing camera. No news on what the size is, but I'm guessing 1.3 megapixels. And yes, as I tweeted before, Front facing cameras, video chatting, I all love it. Well, that does it for today's edition of Phone Ride. Hope you enjoyed. Please check out dailyphonebuzz.com. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as well as you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to be notified right away when we release an article, go ahead and give Daily Phone Buzz a follow on Twitter at Daily Phone Buzz. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash TrogSherma5. Until next time, this has been Trog Sherma with Daily Phone Buzz. Signing out.